Hi there, this is Rishan again, and today's lesson we are going to learn how to say different containers in Mandarin.、Um, different containers, I mean those like bag and box and cabinet that you actually put things on it. Just look around you, you will just instantly see a lot of this stuff. And you will see them many times a day, but you just don't know how to say that. So today, let's learn all of this stuff. And today's lesson, I'm going to use this slide、um, form to talk about this all kind of vocabulary. And let's begin. So here, I give you a general idea about、um, how do you say the general things. So. 袋子 So first one, let's look at 袋子 bag, 盒子 a box, 箱子 a bigger box. And this, they are more related to packaging. And 盒子 box is like a small box that you or you maybe you put some. Um, chocolate. You put your cake and these like little things in it, but 箱子 it's in general like you put tons of bag, tons of your books in it, and you put your cargo like the cargo box, the cargo carton that you use this one 箱子 okay, and the next three, 盆 a pot, 桶 bucket, and 篮 basket. They are in general a bigger container, right? And pen and ton they are usually rounded, but pen is more shallow and ton it's it's more deeper. And land it's mostly made up of bamboo. And let's here we will see this container. They are mostly related to food. So, 杯子 cup, 瓶子 a bottle, 盘子 or 碟子 it's a plate, and 壶 a kettle, and 碗 a bowl. This one they are more related to food, and the final two we have 柜 cabinet and 架 shelf. These guys they are more related to furniture. Okay, and today we are not going to learn the general term, but we are going to learn the different variation within the container category by the material and function. What does it mean? So, for example, 盒 we seen this before the box, but by Material. We have a wooden box. We have an iron box, and we have a paper box. And by function, we have a gift box, a jewelry box, music box, and lunch box. So we will learn all of this stuff today. So, um, 木盒木盒木 wood, 铁盒铁盒铁 iron. 纸盒，纸盒，纸 ，paper. And、um, as we will see later, we will see a lot of、um, things that may up of paper. So remember this important. 纸 ，paper. So the paper we write, we use to write things. That's 纸 And by function, so we have like gift box, 礼物盒 So a gift that means 礼物 and to send gift, 送礼物 to receive gift, 收礼物 and jewelry box, 首饰盒首饰盒 and jewelry. 音乐盒 musical box. 音乐盒 musical box. 音乐 that's like music. 饭盒饭盒 lunch box. 饭 well, I guess you will know. 饭 means rice, but 
but we just use this term to um, re refer to lunchbox. So that's all about he, the box. And then we have dai, a bag. So again, we have a paper. It's made up of paper. I say, I have said this before. So zhi dai, paper bag. Here, la ji dai, a bin bag. So la ji means the trash, the bin that you don't want. Wen jian dai, a fire bag. Wen jian means a file. Go wu dai, shopping bag. So go wu, that's shopping. So uh, let's read again. Zhi dai, la ji dai, wen jian dai, go wu dai. So that's all about back. And let's see now here. Pen and lan. Pen is like a pot, a basin kind of stuff. Lan, it's like the basket that, well, normally it's not stuffed, like the water can go through, a liquid can go through normally. But so let's see. Pen. 洗手盆, basin that we can see every day. 洗手盆, so 洗手 means you wash, 洗, hand, 手, so wash, hand, pot. That's a basin, pretty logical as I say, always Chinese is just logical. 花盆, a flower pot, 花盆, flower pot. Let's move on to Lan here. We have a shopping bag, Go Dai before. So now a shopping basket. Then we just change it, the Dai into a basket. So that's Go Wu Lan. And fruits basket, Guo Lan, Guo Lan. Flower basket, Hua Lan, Hua Lan. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is Tong, a bucket. And look around. Do you have a bin around you? La ji tong. La ji tong. And we also see la ji dai before a bin bag. So now here we have a bin, like a proper bin. La ji tong. It's a bucket. So now here, shui tong, water bucket. Or this one, you can also say it's a plastic bucket. So su liao tong, su liao tong, su liao, plastic. As I see, as I say, we will learn a lot of like materials today, how to say the all kinds of material. So now, um, as far as we have seen wood, we have seen plastic, we have seen paper. Let's see. And let's move on to the containers that have something to do with water or food. So, be a cup. So, according to a lot of function we have like jiu bei for wine jiu bei for wine bo li bei a glass cup bo li means glass ma ke bei ma ke bei it sounds like marker isn't it it's a transliteration. So marker bay, like the marker. Bao wen bay, your thermos. Bao wen bay, thermos. And bao wen literally means keep the temperature. Keep the temperature. That means a thermos. Here, another one, next one. Yi xi xing bay. 
一次性杯，一次性 means one time. So it's just a paper cup that you can just drop after one time's use. So that's all about cup, and let's see about bottle. So bottle, we have. Wine bottle, 酒瓶 for wine. Milk bottle, 奶瓶 for a baby. Vase, 花瓶 for flower. So, a flower bottle, that's a vase. Um. Now I just want to emphasize another time that Chinese it's really pay attention to meaning. That's why 花瓶 flower bottle means actually in English a vase. And last one, so we have kettle, a pot, 壶 cafe 壶 coffee pot, tea pot, 茶壶 boiling bottle, boiling kettle, 热水壶热水壶 hot water bottle, 烧水壶烧水壶烧 means to to cook to boil the water, the kettle, the pot that to boil the water, to cook the water. So, 烧水壶 And next one, we have. Bowl, plate, and can. So, wan, die, guan, tang wan, a soup bowl, shala wan, a salad bowl, tuo pan, a tray. Tuo means to hold the verb to hold. Cha die, saucer. 茶碟 saucer. 茶 means tea, so it's like a tea plate, a plate for tea. So that's a saucer to place for a cup. 罐易拉罐 a can. 易拉 means like easy to pull, so it's a can. 糖罐糖 sugar, so 糖罐 sugar can. These are not that. Um, important history actually. As I see. And now we come to a bigger, more bigger container. So, 箱 a big box. We have like in general a box is like a square. Like you have a square box. So, 药箱 a medicine box. 药 Medicine. 冰箱 refrigerator. 冰 means it's like ice cold ice. 冰 the noun for ice. So 冰箱 means refrigerator. 信箱 letter box. 信 literally means letter. And we have 旅行箱 suitcase. Also, um. 行李箱 also suitcase. 旅行 means to travel. 行李 means your luggage. So 旅行箱 and 行李箱 they both means your suitcase. Now we have the material category. So 木箱 a wooden box. 纸箱 a paper box. And until now we have seen three times paper 纸 We have seen it in 纸袋 a paper bag, 纸盒 a paper box, like a small one, and now we have a 纸箱 a paper, a big paper box. Next one, next one, this one, and、uh, they are more related to furniture. So we have, we have like cabinet, 柜 and we have shelf, um, 架 You can see the meaning radical. They are the same. They are about wooden. So, wooden meaning radical.、Um, well, let's see the vocabulary. So, 书柜 bookcase. 书 book. 
鞋柜 shoe shoe cabinet 衣柜 um sorry I have mistakes here this means like wardrobe and 书架 bookshelf 鞋架 shoe rack so as you can see here the difference between 柜 and 架 is like 柜 normally you will have a door. You can see there is a door order. You have to open it, but jia is like more like it's in um it's open. Like you don't have to close it. You don't have to, like there is not a door to um to separate things. So um that's the difference between gui and jia in Chinese. And until now, I think I have already finished today's vocabulary. But now let's see a quiz. So in this quiz, what I will do is that I will read、um, a Chinese, and then you have to tell me which one I'm talking about. Okay? So it's A and B. So the first one, 纸袋纸袋 Second one, 鞋架鞋架 Third one, 垃圾袋垃圾袋 Fourth one, 咖啡壶咖啡壶 So, have you worked on your answer? Do you have your answer? Good, and then now let's look at a challenge yourself. Here I didn't talk and I didn't teach any of this, but I would like you to check by yourself, or you can just learn by yourself. That I normally really、um, emphasize the skills of learning a language by yourself. So here. Um, I just set up some questions, so I need you to work out what they are meaning by these five. So first one, 瓶盖 Try to find out what does it mean. Second, can opener. Try to find out how do you say it in Chinese. Third one, 洗衣篮 Fourth one, 购物车 Find them. Um, what do they mean in Chinese? I mean, what do they mean in English? Third,、uh, fifth one, clothes hanger. How do you say it in Chinese? Well, this one they are more. They are also like everyday usage. So, um, try to learn them by yourself. And I think that's today's lesson. And thanks for watching and your time. And If you like the video, please give us a like. And if you are considering taking any one-to-one -one online lessons, and please go to bubbling. dot com and then search Wu Shang Liang. That's me, and I will see you next time. Bye.